first time that I walked into the Soka Performing Arts Center, I went, wow, this is incredible. When you first approach the Performing Arts Center, especially at dusk or at night, the interior lights are on. And it's this glowing jewel against the sky and against the hills of Aliso Viejo. It's just this beautiful, beautiful view. The architects were ZGF, Zimmer Gunsel Frasca out of uh, Los Angeles. And the acoustical design was by Yasuhisa Toyota of Nagata Acoustics from Japan. Yasu is the person that also designed the acoustics for Walt Disney Concert Hall in Los Angeles and Suntory Concert Hall in Japan. They worked absolute magic in here. The beautiful finishes that they used, the cherry wood walls, the unfinished Alaskan white cedar floor, give a warmth to the sound in here that really is unmatched from really any other performing arts center that I've been to, any other concert hall that I've been in. It really provides a warm, enveloping environment for the patron. And the moment you walk in, you feel extremely comfortable. And as you approach it, you begin to take note of certain items about the facility. The glass facade is covered with these glass louvers. Those are there to help sunlight come in, but reflect the heat so it doesn't create a great deal of heat load in the lobby area. The entire roof of the facility is covered with a photovoltaic array to help convert sunlight into energy and providing roughly 15% of the electrical needs of the Performing Arts Center, which is critical. On the roof, there's about three to four inches of soil and it's filled with ground cover, succulent plants. That is there to provide sound insulation, to provide insulation for heating and cooling purposes, to also absorb rainwater, to help filter that water before it goes into the Wood Canyon watershed, and also to convert carbon dioxide into oxygen. So when you think about it, before the building was built, there was ground cover. After the building was built, it's just three stories higher. We invited Pacific Symphony Orchestra to come in and hold an open rehearsal in the concert hall. We needed to test the acoustics of the facility. We needed to test what it would be like to have 85 musicians on the stage. We needed to test parking. We invited the entire construction crew to come and listen to the product of their efforts. It was amazing. We will be doing a good deal of classical music, acoustic-based music. It's a natural. But we also have that capability of adjusting the acoustics so that we can do music that is amplified. So we can move the Jazz Monsters program that we're currently doing in Founders Hall. We'll be able to move it into this space. We can do dance. This floor is a beautiful floor to dance on. Will we be able to do a nutcracker? Honestly, no. We don't have the rigging system that you find in typical theaters. We don't have a fly house. We do have six motorized battens so that we can hang draperies and a drop and so forth so that we can have a basic background and we can hang draperies to make it appear like a traditional theater. But it's not. It has limitations. So I like to call it a concert hall with benefits. By building the Performing Arts Center, we now have a place where the community can come to experience the best of the best and to really find out more about their neighbors, us, Soka University. This is probably the most beautiful Performing Arts Center that I've ever been in, worked at, visited. It's got everything, it's warm, it's beautiful, it sounds great. It's just a beautiful, beautiful venue to be in.